Well, this idea of subtracting out the detractors from the promoters. Statisticians hate it. Well, yeah, because it had, it had three effects. One, it actually made it more difficult to get to a statistically significant variation in scores. Right. No it, question. I was 100% aware of that. Two, it had the effect of focusing people on getting rid of the detractors very quickly. Correct. Because if you want to get to a really high net promoter score, you can't do it if you've got hardly any detractors. Yeah, have people thought about this clearly, that a detractor is like a double negative? It not only can't be a promoter, but it's a, not, it's a minus. So it, it's a double whammy. And it does sort of focus you on fixing your detractors as the first thing to do, which is probably not bad for most companies because they have far too many detractors. The third thing it did was it captured people's imaginations because everybody gets it that a detractor destroys value in your business. Yeah. And this, for the first time, incorporated that understanding of the negative value of a, an angry customer. Especially in a social media world where they're out there tweeting and blogging and uh, texting about the experience. So the detractor, the, the, the cost of a detractor, yeah. I think has risen exponentially as social media has become a more trusted and useful platform.